guys so today is Tuesday I'm starting the vlog on the second day of the week but that's because yesterday I I just didn't want to film anything I wasn't in the mood if you are wondering why I have a full face of makeup that's because I wanted to go out to go to Target and to just walk around the city but it's raining outside because it's winter <laughs> and yeah but I have a lot of packages like I have around 10 packages that are waiting for me I haven't opened them it's been a week that's because I just wanted to gather all of them and open them in front of the camera for you guys but there are so many that I just need to open them right now because our corridor, our hall is unreachable at this point and I have to clean after the packages and etc etc and yeah let's open the packages right now and otherwise currently I'm reading God's Grave last week I finished Never Night I didn't tell you but I will tell you later in the day or today also I don't have a battery that's great because I just started the vlog well man I'm the worst vlogger ever but let's start with the packages okay guys let's start with the most exciting one it's from the Waterstones it came all the way from UK and you will see what I have ordered it's finally here I'm so happy oh my god Whew. okay okay I just saw the covers uh, oh my god I, I wanted the pink one but I got the blue one so the first thing so the first thing is Night Circus the Night Circus by Erin Morgan's third yeah and maybe you guessed you just guessed what the second book is but okay it has some damages here and on the edges as well like you can see it's a bit damaged right here but oh my god it, it looks amazing i have this book but with another cover and it's blue on the end pages Oh my god <laughs> I'm so happy oh my god yes it's the um, exclusive edition for the water stones and it looks like this from the inside I'm super happy let me just put that down and I'll show you the other one okay okay I'm so happy the next book is oh my god Starless Sea by the same author. This is the second book. It's again the Waterstone exclusive edition. Oh my god, look at the spine in here. This is amazing. The back cover is so nice. <gasps> look at this glory, this amazing glory. <gasps> oh my god, too much stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it looks amazing. At the beginning, when I saw it, I thought, well, this is three different styles, like here, here, like these are three different books, but when you see it in person, it all, all just comes together, like it looks amazing. Oh my god, I think this is one of my most beautiful books ever. Let me just do that. Oh my god, look at this. Okay. Okay, so I also ordered this bookmark which is like a camera and it's film camera bookmark magnifier. It was four pounds and also I ordered this amazing oh my god, I'm so excited. I ordered this amazing notebook. It looks like um like a book from the Harry Potter movies it says advanced potion making and it's the lined journal from Harry Potter it looks amazing also I have seen this in Redbubble as well by different artists I don't know if they stole the idea or something but it has silver sprayed edges and yeah it's also it's really small like it's not a5 size 
just so you know and I think that's all from here yeah the letter with the prices and everything the dispatch note and the bookmark okay next is an order from Barnes and Nobles I know what this is this is the pre-ordered book oh my god last week I did an opening for two of Barnes and Nobles packages but right now I'm opening the third one the pre-ordered book ah! oh my god oh my god yes Okay, we have some stuff here, this um, coupon code, I think it's from the membership card and woohoo! <laughs> okay, so the book is Children of Virtue and Vengeance and it's the second book in the series, Children of Blood and Bone. I haven't read the first one, but I bought it when I was in my home country and I'm super excited to read this series. Oh my god, look at the map, it's blue. Okay, let's see the cover. Okay, it, it looks amazing. The spine is amazing. I'm super excited. I think I don't need to say this anymore because I'm super excited for every book. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay, let's continue with an order from Book Depository. I ordered from there too many times. I think every two days I'm there ordering this book. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I now remember what the book is. Okay, it's Vengeful by V. Schwab and it's the second book in the series. Again, <sighs> this is the most beautiful book I have ever seen. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Let me see. Okay, the inside looks amazing as well. And here she looks like this okay I think I don't know which is the most beautiful book so far but I'm super excited for this one and for this series I also haven't read this series as well but I'm excited to do so okay so the next order is from Etsy it's from the shop it's lovely and I ordered from there two things and one of it came yesterday. I will show you maybe later in the vlog, but oh my god, this is amazing. So this is the info of the girl who makes all this amazing stuff and you don't know it, but my favorite, all time favorite, like uh, Disney, uh, Disney well she's now in Disney but my most favorite girl in the whole world from any movie from any children movie or book is Anastasia Anastasia Romanov the Russian Dutch and these are the bookmarks this is her in the gown and this is her when she was um, uh, it's from the beginning of the movie when she didn't know who she was and she was looking for answers. I'm so excited. I'm planning to do a readathon entirely related to Anastasia. So you can tell me if you would like to participate and if you are excited. And if you read books about the Romanov families, I know everything about them or I'm trying to learn a lot about them through documentaries, through books. And of course, the animated movie is so lovely so magical i went to the broadway show as well last year last christmas and i'm so excited and this is the shop if you'd like to support this girl and i'll leave all the information down below in the description box okay so i just opened the next packages it was from amazon and it 
contained these three items so this is for my husband this is the medium monthly planner because he's so not organized and I need him to have a planner because he has some things to do in the apartment and he doesn't have time and the organization that's needed for him to do everything that I ask him for these are the books that I'm so 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 excited so let me tell you this is East and West and this is a duology written by Edith Pato and she um, incorporated in these books two, um, two well-known stories the first one I think is called East to the Sun and West to the Moon and the second one is the story about the Beauty and the Beast and also, it's, interested, it's interesting because I bought the book North Child and I'm waiting for it. I bought it from Book Depository, so maybe you will see it this week when it comes or maybe next week. But uh, East was for the US readers and just the title was changed to North Child for the UK readers. And I think this was published... Uh, maybe 2016 and they changed the cover it was another cover before this and now they published the North Child this year so this is the same book it's a duology I'm I see that many people right now are interested in North Child because also it's um, the winter time and this is amazing to read this season I'm super excited the main uh, heroine is called Rose and she has to go north with this bear but I won't say much but it's the it's a retelling uh, from for the story Beauty and the Beast and also the story that I told you East from the moon and west to the stars or east to the stars and west to the moon I'm not sure also my battery has to be charged again so I can't wait to read this it's not uh, small neither of this book is but I'm super excited and the covers look so good they look amazing and it's a floppy book as you can see so yeah and one of the last things that I just opened but you know the boxes from Amazon aren't easy to open so I unpacked it and opened it and I'm gonna open this right here in front of you this was a pre-order I think it was um, sent on the 27th of November and it came maybe two days ago but it's the, um, um, the Funko Pop for Maleficent oh my god I'm so excited you know Anastasia and the Sleeping Beauty Aurora are two of my favorite princesses and I'm loving the movie for Maleficent and I had to order this Funko Pop I want to have the um, Sleeping Beauty one with the pink and the blue dress but they are 20 or 30 dollars so I'm waiting on that or maybe I'll have it for Christmas as a present oh my god it's so so beautiful oh my god I'm throwing everything away it looks like this I think it's not focused okay it is right now oh my god the wings and everything oh my god the lipstick and all <laughs> it looks amazing oh my god I'm loving this I'm I really do and I can't wait to put it on my shelves okay I told you I had many books ordered but I have to return them I think there are four books because they all have some kind of stains I don't know if you see stains on the covers of your books ordered from Amazon but I always do the first one is this Anastasia selection from Anastasia uh, music and the second one is Aurora Rising this is the second time I'm ordering this book and it always has some ugly stains on the cover so I have to return that it's disgusting I don't know what this is this is the storm crow right now I'm listening to this book from script and the next one was ninth house by Lee Bardugo which has stains again and I have to return them and order them again because I can't read a book that has so many stains and it's called brand new so I'm really frustrated about that but I can't do anything unless I can return them and order them again
Hey everyone, so today is Wednesday. Yesterday I didn't update you because I went to the gym and I uh, this was my first time since July so I was really tired after that but I was reading a gut grave. I'm at around 200, 210 page so actually it's over here and my bookmark is my remote control so I'm around here I'm reading uh, no actually I'm listening to the audiobook I downloaded it from audible and I'm reading the Bulgarian version of it so it's actually strange and nice to do that because there are some words that maybe I didn't catch when I was listening and when I'm looking at the Bulgarian words I'm uh, actually understanding it even more not to say that I don't understand it without uh, looking at the Bulgarian words but it's kind of cool to do that and maybe I'll do that with future books that I have both in Bulgarian and in audiobook in English and uh, today I just woke up, it's 10 o'clock, it's really late but as I said I was really tired yesterday and I went to sleep at around 2 o'clock so I'm drinking coffee from my <laughs> new mug, it's amazing, I think I showed you this mug um, or maybe I didn't but I bought it from Barnes & Nobles, actually I'm going to Barnes & Nobles tomorrow so um, you will see some footage from there and yesterday actually I didn't um, show you two of the packages that came later in the evening and also the artwork which was specifically done for the um, children of virtue and venge, venge something uh, <laughs> you know the exclusive Barnes and Nobles edition I'm sorry I don't know the full name of the book but I'm still sleepy and yeah let's start the day to serpent and dove so I have like 11 hours left I'm not 25% of the way through with it yet so yeah you guys are going to get a little sneak peek of how like my decorations have started looking because I am making like a separate video for the actual decorating part but as far as like the ornaments I think it would be fun to do it on here so yeah just as like before we go into it, I am kind of going with a blue, silver, and white kind of theme. It's just because I like how it looks, and um, it's like an ode to Frozen. Because
guys so i just wanted to show you the things that i didn't the other day so this came in a couple of days ago so i ordered the five uh, girls from which this is my one of my favorite comics of all time so here they are and i also ordered aurora and maleficent because i just love this movie also this is from the same artist that did these two anastasia bookmarks and also this came in a couple of days ago this is from sarah j mass's books and the same artist did this one so this is the small one and this is the bigger bookmark they are magnetic this is mia corvere and this is the back you can see the cat as well so the artist also sent me these two beautiful posters and this is a thank you note of course uh, and I wanted to show you the poster that you get if you order this book from the exclusive Barnes & Nobles edition so I uh, if I have to be honest I really don't like the poster it was for me it's awful let's just say that it looks awful I don't know who drew it I'm sorry I'm really sorry to say that but I really don't like it mm, it's not for me and I won't be putting that on my wall and this is the map on the other side yesterday I received this book from book depository also as uh, I think I told you this is the same book with another um, another title so this is the same book it's called East and North Child, this is the same. They just published this book this year, and this one was published a couple of years ago, and they redid the cover. So this is the second cover, and this is the third cover of the same book. And this is a duology, so I'm expecting another book because this is a duology, and this is the first book, and they'll publish the second book as well. Also, yesterday evening, I received a package from Amazon and it was this Anastasia, um, the new Broadway musical vocal selections. So, as you know, by now I love Anastasia and this is one of the few books and items I could get myself. So I bought it. I have the other one as well, the other musical selection, vocal selections. So... I'm really happy with that. I was thinking of ordering another one just to use this one as a poster. But yeah, I'm really happy with all of this. Also, a quick update about my journal. So because of all the, the stickers that I um, put, that I have put on the cover, uh, when I opened the book, the stickers were beginning to... Um, to not look good they were damaged so I remember that when I was younger I kept seeing that my mother um, used this uh, to cover her books and keep the covers looking good so as you may see I have used this tape to just cover everything like um, I don't know like another layer of protection and it also protects not only the cover but also the stickers from um, chopping or get damaged or whatever it, it's working great on the edges as well and this is the way it looks so I have one layer here two three and three on the, the front cover here here and here one big one taking on the edges and i think it looks amazing also i have finally finished some of the um, pages like this one uh, it was empty here because i lost this witch somewhere in all the papers i have so i i drew this and i did my favorite book of november here 
and what else did I do? Mm, you soon will see a flip through, but yeah, I'm really happy with the journal and, and how it looks. Also, I did this page for the Cozy Reader Tom, and which is actually happening right now, well, next week, but there's no time. And also I did the end pages here, as you know, uh, Loistrom has a pocket here, so I did it like that and I think it looks amazing. And what else did I do? Yeah, I did this spread, it's for the script and audiobook, audiobooks that I'm listening to or planning to listen. So for example, I have, I'm finished with these two and... I just mark that here also I'm also taking these stickers from the exclusive editions of Barnes and Nobles and put them here and also I'm tracking what I order from Barnes and Nobles and Waterstones and the same thing for book depository so yeah oh yeah I did this oh it's my favorite <laughs> one of my favorite spreads so I did the um, favorite books of my whole life and I just love that the favorite is is corresponding with this gold heart and also I had gold stickers and this sticker is different from the other ones because this is my most favorite book of all time so it's called the dead Siberian um, I don't know I'll, I'll write it on the screen somewhere it's by Victor von Falk and this is uh, a German author that wrote the um, history of the Russian family so it's a retelling uh, it has some historical aspects but also it's not um, the whole truth and it's a story about the Anastasia family the Romanov dynasty and um, Although it, the author is uh, German, I honestly can't find any other book but the Bulgarian one. So uh, there is this edition only and the uh, older one, so the first edition. And I can't find anything in English or in German or in any other language. And Goodreads doesn't have any other edition except this one. So I'm so sorry, but you, you can't read this book and it's amazing. But uh, when I do the final flip through of the year, I will talk more about these books. And yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you. Oh, also, I remembered by looking at this cover. So this is for the old fantasy readathon. And I did almost the same thing for uh, this month's fantasia ton so here it is it was empty here when i did this spread but it's corresponding with this one so yeah that's all
Hey guys, so today is Saturday and excuse my look but I just woke up at 11 a.m. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. and I'm drinking my coffee and yesterday evening or let's say today early in the morning at 2 a.m. last night I started Dark Down by J. Christoph, the third book of the uh, of the Nevernight series, and I'm on chapter one, uh, but I'm planning to read this book today and tomorrow, and I'm planning to finishing the whole series this week, and it will be an amazing experience because I always have a problem with um, starting series and finishing series and so it's really interesting and amazing for me because I always start series and never finish them or I never start a series that I want to read but um, this week I proved to myself that um, if I make a plan and read the books I can do uh, what I want <laughs> and um, I really have a lot of series planned to be read so uh, I have some I think six spreads in my bullet journal in my reading journal sorry that are all with um, filled out with um, series that I'm planning to finish or to start and finish but uh, it's really hard for me I don't know why I always read the first book uh, maybe the second one and never finishing the series such an example is the Illuminate Files series because I loved the first book. I have the second and the third one, but I never, I have never read them. I um, they are sitting on my shelf, and even though I want to read them, I never do. I don't know. Do you have the same problem, or is it just me? Um, but I'm super happy that I'm gonna finish this series and I think that that's because I'm listening to the audiobooks like I bought the audiobooks from Audible um, the three books are bought from Audible uh, I had the, the Nevernight for free with my uh, subscription and then I subscribed again a couple of days ago uh, and I bought the other two so uh, right now if you subscribe till the 24th of December I think you are paying seven dollars a month for three months and I actually bought the books for 6.95 or, or something like that so it was an amazing deal and it really helped me uh, finish the series like I'm not <laughs> I have not finished the series yet but I'm sure tomorrow I'll finish them and um, so I think yesterday I didn't 
uh, so I think yesterday I didn't film anything oh my god excuse my hair and my <laughs> look and this is from a lipstick that I was using yesterday and I couldn't get it out of my face that's why I look like that but but okay so I will chat with you later maybe or tomorrow or if I don't do that um, I'll finish the vlog on Monday and I will talk to you about all three books right now never night has four stars god's grave uh, was going to have like three or four stars maximum but then the last a hundred or fifty pages left me shook like like so many things happened and I don't know I will, I didn't expect them at all and maybe you have read I'm I'm sure you have read God's Grave and you know what I'm talking about but I'm still and right now I started the 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 next book and mm, I can't wait I can't wait to find out what happens and Mr. Kindly promised us to tell us everything so so <laughs> bye I'm gonna read now
Okay, so right now I'm on chapter 13 from the book Dark Down by J. Christoph, and I decided to do a dedicated spread to the series just because I read them in one week and I was super excited to do that. Also, I printed the six covers of the series. I used this creamy cardboard paper, so it's a lot thicker than than a regular print paper and I wanted to place three covers here and the other one here but they are too big so I'm placing them right here this way and also I drew Mia Corvere and I think that she looks amazing so I also drew the cat it has gold eyes and Mia is looking good. Her dress is black but with gold glitter in it. And here are the shadows. I don't think you can see very well but I'm super pleased with the result. And yeah, so right now I'm gonna place this here and maybe I'm thinking of doing a journal dedicated to um, those kinds of spreads just because my journal has 80 pages and it's been used three months and I only have 80 pages so if I start doing this every month since I read around 10 to 20 books a month it will be a lot so yeah right now I'm gonna do that and also look how cute is this bookmark that I ordered and show you it looks amazing everything looks amazing and right now I'm on chapter 13 so I'm listening to the book from audiobook and everything is great Okay guys, so this is the final spread that I did. I decided to go with this metallic washi tape just because it will correspond with the blood. Also the gold here on this washi corresponds with the other one and also the gold corresponds with the eyes of the cat which I don't think you can see and the gold on the mask and the black and gold on the dress and also on the sword and the black here and this like 
this um, like sky like dark shadows from this washi tape corresponds with the whole team and the whole concept of uh, Mia Curvere and I think it, it turned out great it's beautiful and I'm pleased I think I'm gonna write something here for example when I read this although it's in December because it's in the December like um, part of this journal and maybe I'll write something about the series or whatever I don't know yet and maybe I'll write something here here and here I don't know I haven't decided yet but I'm really pleased with everything and how it turned out and I think I'm gonna do that in another journal for future red books. You can tell me if you like it. This is an epic moment, so I have to show you. I have to show you what happened. G. Christoph just liked my photo. So when you go on my account, my Instagram, here I have some Nevernight related photos. And J. Christoph just wrote beautiful work and liked my photos. So if you like them, you can go and check them out there are around five photos of my spread which is here and i'm so happy and i didn't expect him to even see this post so it means a lot to me that he saw it liked it and commented i'm so happy and grateful and <laughs> i can't believe this